everybody, Vivian K here for Clear Snap. I have a really easy technique video to share with you today. I'm going to be using Smooch Spritz in Sea Kiss and Navy Twinkle to create a very fast, easy gradient in your choice of colors. These are the colors I'm choosing. The key to this technique is to first mist your paper surface with water and um, spread out that water with your fingers so that it's evenly covered all over. When it's damp like this, it will accept the media in such a way that you can spread it out without having any um, spritz marks, any of that those splatters, because for a gradient, you just want a really smooth transition. For this darker color, I'm just gonna spread it out with the tip of my um, inner tube. And then within seconds, I spread out the color. If I want to bring some of the darker color down, I can do that. Or if I want to bring some of the lighter color up, I can do that as well. And within seconds, you have a perfectly blended gradient. All you have to do is wait for it to dry. I want to add in a little step here. I've been playing around a lot with my salt lately. This is a coarse kosher salt. And I want to create a starry sky. So while it's still wet, I'm going to just sprinkle some salt on there. And I'm going to skip forward. First, I'm going to zoom in and show you how that salt sort of sucks in the pigment and creates little starburst shapes that are much like um, twinkling stars. You see how it's starting to absorb up at the top? And you'll find with the more intense hues that the effect is more dramatic. I skipped forward here to when it was all dry. I just went and had a bite to eat and came back and you can see the final effect. For an effect like this, I'd suggest that you let uh, the paper surface dry naturally so that the salt can work its magic. But if at the very end you have just a little bit of moisture left, you can finish it up quickly with a little blast of a heat tool. For something like this, you probably want to work on a sturdy paper surface. I'm using a Bristol vellum from Strathmore. You could use watercolor paper or even a, a nice strong white cardstock. Once everything's dry, you're going to want to wipe away those little grains of salt as well. I'm going to prepare the surface for uh, my focal image, which is going to be a die cut from Sizzix's Life Made Simple collection. I've been playing with those quite a lot too. And I'm using um, Gold Glow, a combination of Gold Glow and Vanilla Shimmer, uh, which is just a winning combination. I really love these colors together. Um, the photograph in the end that you'll see won't do it justice, but it's got a really beautiful shimmer. I'm just gonna spread that out because I want sort of a uniform coverage. Great way to add color with if you're not interested in having spatters. So I have some uh, close-up shots for you. Here's the die cut in which I have the gradient effect showing through the negative space in my die cut. Here you can see a darker portion of the gradient with some stars that were die cut as well from the same set and a lighter portion. Um, some cool blending happens there. And here's the final card project. I have a starry sky, um, some gold stars that I adhered. These cute little stars were die cut leftovers from a die in the same set that I used to cut the sentiment. And you can see the seamless gradient. If you're interested in just a clean, seamless gradient, you just omit the salt and you'd have that gradient created in seconds. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested in more inspiration from me, you can visit me on my site. That's contadinak.com. Thanks so much. Bye.